Okay, and again, we have the second part, wrong or right. Five questions, please answer with wrong or right in one sentence to explain your answer. Uh, first one, electrical vehicles will reach a market share of 50% within the next 10 years. Of? Uh, of 50% within the next years. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I, I, so it heavily depends on China, but uh, I, I think it will be maybe... Um, 5% by 2020 or something like that, not more. But China will be a driver because uh, China can make decisions and, and China can make regulations uh, within two weeks where, need, where we need 20 years. Mm. And uh, so in this case, I'm, I'm pretty sure if they make a law that you cannot drive in uh, uh, Beijing anymore with uh, a gasoline car, then it will come. And there's a lot of activities. And as I said, uh, newcomers uh, have a big chance. Uh, I'm, it's heavily depends on China. Mm -hmm. um, the electrification of vehicles will increase no matter what kind of car it is. Yes. This, yeah. <laughs> the most important factor for power electronics and vehicles are the costs. Uh, not only the cost, I would say 50-50, because uh, the robust design, the, the, the quality, as I said, uh, you like to have a watch, which is not uh, standing still every hour, and you like to have a car, which is working 10 years by each click. So I, I think the quality and the robustness is a very, very important cost as well uh, to make the applications happen, to make it affordable that everybody can buy such a car. Uh, but uh, the quality is, uh, I think, still the key. Okay. Um, for future electronic vehicles, we need new power electronics. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the way. And uh, so I'm more than happy because uh, uh, Mitsub everybody knows Mitsubishi has the know-how. So, and, uh, so this is the first time in history that we are officially allowed to promote our uh, products. And this is uh, really the first here in uh, Nuremberg. Uh, we never made any advertisement. So also for this fair, we made the first advertisement. And now we are going uh, to the market. And I'm more than happy uh, that we are allowed to show. Because a lot of people told us Mitsubishi, in this case, looks like a, uh, how, how to say, how, how, like a covered Porsche, zugedeckter uh, Porsche. And uh, so we know that there is something uh, behind, we know that there is something under uh, hood, uh, but we don't know what. And so uh, today, at least we show something. So there is much, much more on the way. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, already, to, to, to be honest, uh, already 20% of our Mitsubishi turnover is going to automotive field. Mm -hmm. And uh, so in Europe, we are just starting from the scratch but we will go very fast based on the experience and uh, again, quality, quality, quality and robust design. This mm -hmm. is all I heard today. I think we have uh, every 10 minutes uh, discussions and the robust design and the quality. Uh, this is always the request. Okay. Finally, last question. Without power electronics, it is impossible to reduce CO2 uh, the way it is planned. Yes. So this is, this is absolutely a must, even, even in today's uh, cars uh, so with, with the existing uh, uh, engines and so on, you need the power electronics because we have a huge variety of power electronics because I think a MOSFET is also power electronics. And if you, as I said, if you have 100 micros in the car and uh, each, uh, each micro has at least 20 IOs, so you have to, to think 100 by 20, so you have 2,000 IOs, and each IO has to drive a sensor or uh, some other application at, at the end. Uh, so uh, without power, <laughs> and the power save is, 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 a, key. is okay. a key. Thank you very much, Peter Mies, Mitsubishi Electric. And uh, mm -hmm. if you're interested to watch the video later on, check uh, at YouTube for Published Industry or visit us at Facebook, uh, E&E, &E fascination of electronics. Thank you very much.